Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be doing a review of all the new cards that currently have Dokkan Awakenings on Dokkan Battle Global. Alright, before we start guys, I want to say shout out to Nadrox. If you haven't noticed, I got a brand new introduction. Uh, that is all thanks to Nadrox. He created my new introduction. Shout out to him. Information's down in the description below. If you guys are looking for someone to create an introduction for you, go ahead, hit him up and work with him. He's one of the best people that I've found that actually listen to you and create good material. All right, so go ahead, check him out. He also does artwork for banners and, and profile icons and stuff like that. Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want, he got that being said guys let's go ahead and jump into this um, as you can see here I have my phone information up on the screen right now uh, we have the new Dokken Awakenings 4, 17, 18, Gohan, Zanya and two of the Bojacks so pretty psyched about that there's a whole bunch of information here uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about but first off we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Pilaf Cove so we have Pilaf's Cove over here you see on the top right we're gonna go ahead and click on that um, we're going to open up Pilaf's Cove, and you can see that we have the opening celebration pack. We actually have a new ability outside of just purchasing Dragon Stones to go in and pick up a whole bunch of different items within the store. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch. We have the guaranteed SSR that you can go into the Baba Shop and purchase 25 Dragon Stones and a whole bunch of medals. Um, kind of a fan. I like the fact that they give us two of the Supreme and Elder Kai's. You get about five of each of the Z Sword types. Uh, I kind of wish that they did additional Awakening medals. Uh, they kind of shafted us there with only the amount that they gave us. I feel like they should have done a little bit of each one. But whatever, what can you do? It's it's still there. You can go into the bottle shop, which we're going to do right now. And I'm going to show you exactly what you can purchase with it. Right now, we have uh, a good handful of cards that you could actually do. And the one thing I did want to mention, the one Gohan that you see here, the Super Saiyan Future Gohan, he's not available on that. Well, he wasn't displayed in that banner. Um, but we're going to go in. This is where you're going to purchase the... Uh, actual do cards that now have their new Dokken Wakings, including that Super Saiyan Future Gohan. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the card review right now. So let's go ahead and switch over to my desktop. All right, so as you can see over here, we're, um, we're over here on dbz.space for the news. More Warriors to be Dokken Waking. Again, don't know why that Super Saiyan Future Gohan isn't here, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Now, I did this video once before. It turned into a half-hour recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore all of the pre doken waken information we're just going to talk about the doken waken information so first card we're going to see is the true might android 17 this is the one that's purchasable or grab from the baba shop uh this card now has a doken waking on doken battle he doken awakens with 35 cell game medals um so the horrific cell games uh, you go in there and you run level three where you get seven medals from uh, the from the from the drop this is the one with the cell that has the hp regeneration so he's paying the butt but if he has super saiyan fours he should be able to take it on with no problem well, before we go into the actual card, I do want to say Infinite Energy Spirit Android 17 and Dauntless Runner Android 17. Both of these SRs can be Z Awakened for a 50% chance of feeding into his base form. That is this guy over here, True Might Android 17, before you Doken Waken him. So I highly encourage you guys to do that before you Doken Waken him. When you Doken Waken, he Doken Awakens into Concentrated Power Android 17. He has a leader ability of Tech Type, Tech Intelligence and Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 20%. His super attack is Sadistic Dance, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, outstanding stamina. Weakens regeneration, attack plus 40%, and change agility to Rainbow Key. Now, personally, when it comes to key orb manipulators, I prefer it for type 2 Rainbow. It makes a lot more options. I do not like Rainbow 2 type. Type to type is really good as well. Um... Uh, wink skills are Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, The Innocent, Soul vs. Soul, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. Now, he runs really well on an LR Broly team during the World Tournament because he opens up a lot of paths for Broly. He's one of the key orb manipulators that I recommend that you have. His max stats are HP of 9529, attack of 8031, and defense of 4731, and a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Overall, he's a really decent character. I'm going to give you my opinion in terms of who I think you should get at the end of this. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Uh, next one is the Intelligence Android 18, Flawless Combat Android number 18. Um, she's the card that we currently have uh, that is avail available in the Baba Shop that I can't talk. Um, she Doken Awakens with, again, 35 medals from the Cell Games, and she Doken Awakens into this breathless struggle android 18 but just before we go into that similar to the 17 she has two srs that feed into her the beautiful but deadly android 18 as you see here on my screen and the alluring assassin android 18 both of these can be z awakened for a 50 percent chance at their ss at her ssr form which is this one right here 
when she token awakens. She token awakens into Breath of Struggle, Android 18, leader skill, intelligence, tech, and strength type key, plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super Attack is Sadistic Dance, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, Exceptional Endurance. Weakens regeneration, it changes Rainbow Key to Intelligence Key, Attack and Defense plus 30%. Overall, I don't like Rainbow to Intelligence as I stated before. Mm, she will be decent if you have a whole bunch of key orb manipulators that actually change from one type to Rainbow, then she'll be a little bit more useful. Personally, that passive skill can hurt you more than it helps you depending on the situation. Sometimes it helps you, but a lot of the time it won't. Link skills are Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Battlefield Diva, Soul vs. Soul, Nightmare, and Fierce Battle. Her max stats are HP of 9907, Attack of 7805, and Defense of 4826, and her 12 key multiplier is 135%. Overall, not a bad unit, especially one that you get as semi-farmable that you get up to Super Attack 10. In the future, she will be farmable to Super Attack 10 because the Bio Broly event that comes out does have a farmable Android 18 that you can feed into this one for a 50% shot before she Z-Awakens. You can technically Z-Awaken her and feed her in pretty sure that's how it works uh, and it, either way it's a 50 percent chance before you use the awaken her and you can feed her into this one in the future so you don't even need to save up and use awakening metals and zenny to get her up to super deck 10 if you want to you can but she will have an actual farmable in the future right now she's semi farmable uh, the next one is brutal battlefield diva zanya she's getting a doken waking now this is an sr a lot of you might have her if you kept her if not well, I don't really know if she's actually going to be worth it to you. Uh, she will Doken Awaken with seven of her own medals from the Galactic Crisis Super Guy and the Galaxy event. Now, um, this event is actually going to hold a whole bunch of different medals for the Bojax as well. She gets it from level 3, but all the medals are currently available on level 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Um, that's where you're going to get all the good medals that you, you want for Doken Awakenings. Um, she Doken Awakens into Merciless Swift Strike Zanya. Uh, she has leader skill of when HP is 30% or above, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, super attack, shoot blaster. It's really a horrible name for a super attack in my opinion. Uh, passive skill is, oh sorry, shoot, shoot blaster, extreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Passive skill, sprightly speed, recover 10% of HP at start of turn. Not really good in my opinion, 10% on an extreme team might be a little bit more viable. I mean 10% of 200,000 is 20,000. So it's not horrible, but I don't find it very, you know, useful. Uh, Link Seals are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Battlefield Diva, Brutal Beatdown, Loyalty, and Shocking Speed. Max stats are HP of 7904, Attack of 6568, and Defense of 4276. Um, and she has a 12-key multiplier of 125%. Overall, not a bad unit. I mean, she's decent support for Bojack the Agility Bojack, which we're going to go over in a minute. Uh, I don't recommend be making her a priority. But you can go ahead and Doken Awaken her, and she could be, I guess, a decent support unit for your Bojack. Plus the 10% health recovery can help you out in certain events. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is Galaxy's Most Evil Bojack. This is the SR one that drops from Summons. Uh, very easy to attain. He's a little bit more common because he's an SR. He Doken Awakens into uh, uh, this Bojack right over here. Full Strength Tremor, Full Power Bojack. We're not going to go into his card details as well. Um, but the SR variant, Doken Awakens into that variant with 12 Zanya, 12 uh, Gokua, 12 uh, Beto, 12 Bujin, and 12 Gohan medals. When he Doken Awakens into here, he requires another Doken Awakens of uh, 12 Bojack medals. I can't speak. <laughs> when you use that 12 Bojack medals, he Doken Awakens into shockingly powerful energy full power Bojack. He has a leader ability of <clears throat> strength key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack is Galactic Buster causes extreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, Sneaky Strike, attack plus 90% when performing a super attack. That's really viable on an extreme team. He might not be a perfect unit for you guys to run if you have the most optimal or practical teams, but he does hit hard. Uh, back in the day, the original unit, his Zoken Awakening, was really amazing. This is like the pre-Gogeta era, the actual like pre, I believe this was the pre uh, Key plus 3 flat out boost leads uh, era. Anyway, he was a very good unit, and again, he will make it a lot easier for you, especially if you end up getting a Janemba in the future. Uh, attack plus 90% on a double 120 lead. He's going to be hitting pretty damn par powerful, even with that extreme damage modifier. Uh, link skills are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Coward, the Wall Standing Tall, and Shattering the Limit. Max stats are HP of 8145, attack of 7920, and defense of 4153, and a 12 key multiplier of 133%. Uh, now, before we go into the next card, I did want to state, this Bojack over here, when you Z-Awaken him, will feed into the Agility Bojack. Now, that is this Agility Bojack, Galactic Annihilation Full Power Bojack. 
So you get those strength ones, get them leveled up, get them Z Awaken, and feed them into here for super tech up. Now, I don't highly recommend you doing that because it's going to be a grind to do that. But if you if you don't have amazing agility cards, you might want to consider doing that. He is also a practical unit for an extreme agility team. He's someone that you can run on Extreme Jelly when he gets Stoken Awaken, he might be a good benefit to you. Nothing amazing, but he's a decent unit. Um, leader ability, well, we're actually, we're not going over this card. So Galactic Annihilation, Full Power Bojack, also Doken Awakens with 12 Bojack Medals. When you Doken Awaken him, he Doken Awakens into the Tyrannical Maelstrom, Full Power Bojack. His leader ability is Agility, Intelligence, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack Galactic Buster causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense and attack plus 90% at start of turn for his passive. Um, so if you get him up to Super Attack 10 with a Supreme Damage Multiplier, he's going to be hitting harder than the Strength one. That's why I say he's a little bit more practical for a team. He also has a couple of decent link skills. The Heraclan and Galactic Warriors, not so much. But Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest. Um, Coward, somewhat. Uh, the Wall Standing Tall and Shattering the Limit. Shattering the Limit will be decent if you have a lot of Rebirth um, of rebirth units on your team. Max stats are HP of 9021, Attack of 7691, and Defense of 5036. Now, he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. And like I said before, you, you use that Strength one in order to Doke and Wake in him. Or either to increase his super attack. Um, the next one we're going to go ahead and talk about is the final will to fight Super Saiyan Gohan Future. Now, uh, this is a pretty cool card. I like him. Everyone likes his art. He token makes with seven medals from the Hope event, the Hope Fight Against Despair Future Trunks event. Um, this is the event you see currently see on the screen. Um, he drops, those medals drop from level four, the last fighters. Really easy to grind that out. It's not really a big deal. Go ahead, grab those medals, and Doken Awaken him. He Doken Awakens into the Protector of Hope Super Saiyan Gohan Future. Leader ability is Tech Type, attack plus 70%. Uh, Super Attack Kamehameha greatly raises attack and causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Smoldering Will. Attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 80% or below. Now, not an optimal... Pass the skill, it's really kind of not practical either, because it's kind of like, yeah, you are your health is going to go below 80% at some point in the game, but it's really, it's more of a pain in the butt because you have to wait till you low on health in order for it to go off. But overall, once it does go below, he will start to tank and he will just start to do some decent damage, especially when his super attack starts to, to stack up on its own. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Experience, Fighters, Kamehameha, Dismal Future, and Chattering the Limit. Uh, really good on a hero, intelli uh, a hero technique team. Um, and on a hero team in general, if you're lacking good support units, it's really practical because of his link skills. I mean, the first three in itself, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, and Prepare for Battle, are really good. Kamehameha can be useful even on a, a tech, mono tech team with heroes because of that LR Goku. Um, and Shattering Limit can be useful depending on who you have. Max stats are HP of 92.20, Attack of 82.36, and Defense of 41.31. It's a 12 key multiplier of 140%, and as I stated before, his Super Attack boost stacks. Um, now, he can be have his uh, super attack raise, unfortunately, but he is a pretty damn decent unit. Um, extreme damage kind of sucks, but what can you do about that? Now, last but not least, guys, before we finish up here, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. And this is a really OG unit. This is pre-120 leads, I mean pre-120, pre-key plus three flat-out boost leads. He was actually the second SSR that I got in a multi-summon where I scored him and the strength Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I pulled both of them in one multi back in the original days. So if you guys don't know, that's like a 3% pull rate and I got two of them, I was super psyched. Uh, anyway, he Doken Awakens with 12 medals, Gohan medals from that Bojack event. Uh, when you Doken Awaken him, holy crap, he Doken Awakens into imminent attack at a Flash Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. Oh, I'm sorry, um, Point Blank Flash Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. I guess they didn't change the, the, the title up over here on the Doken Battle Wiki from before he got translations to the global version. <laughs> uh, leader skill, agility and strength type key plus three, uh, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack and super kamehameha causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for three turns. Wow, really good. Passive skill is earth defending faith, agility and strength type key plus two, attack and defense plus 25%. So guys, that is really, really good on a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team. He will make him get those nice key and attack buffs and he's gonna hit even harder. I recommend running him on that team. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limits. So he does have good Link skills. He's not going to hit really hard, but he's going to hit decent enough, and he's going to give a stack to everyone else where he's going to be worth it. Uh, max stats are HP of 93.86, or sorry, 93.89, attack of 79.11, and defense of 45.77, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. 
Now overall, I like him the best, and I'm gonna go ahead and give my quick review on which ones you can get. Now, the ones you can get with that ticket, again, are Bojack, Gohan, Future Gohan, and the two androids. Now, obviously, this Gohan is going to be my number one choice. He's just perfect to run on a Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta team. If you don't have him on that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team, um, I mean, you can use other cards for buffs, but he just gives everyone buffs. He has good link skills all around. He does some decent damage. He's just a really, over, overall, really good unit. Um, the next one, the second one, is going to be maybe a little bit controversial. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, go along with the True Might Android 17, and that's only because he does the agility to Rainbow. Um, key Orb Manipulation. If you're a World Tournament player, then definitely he is worth it. If you already have that Gohan, just because he's going to make the World Tournament grind a little bit easier for you, that Broly is going to be able to get those uh, super attacks off. Um, the next one that I'm going to talk about, I mean, they're, they're kind of the next two kind of go hand in hand in terms of placement. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that it is this Gohan. The future Gohan is kind of just above the Broly, not the Broly, the Bojack. Um, I like him. He's an overall decent unit. He has good link skills. He has, um, he will get a decent passive skill. He's going to tank a little bit, but he's going to be an overall good unit. He's fun to play with. So I'd, I'd, I'd say that he's there. Uh, the next one is going to be the agility Bojack, um, just because he will Dokken Wake it into a decent form. You can technically raise up his super attack, so it makes him a little bit more viable. I mean, that attack plus 90% with Supreme Damage at Super Attack 10, he's going to be doing some decent damage. It's a little bit of a grind to get him to Super Attack 10, but when you do it, he will be hitting hard, and he's pretty decent on an extreme agility team if, if and when we get the uh, Super 17. Now, that leaves, last but not least, the Android 18. I think out of all of them, she is the worst unit. Um, overall, I personally wouldn't recommend going for her unless you really have nothing else to go for. I would recommend do paths of the Gohan or the, I mean, even the 17, I might recommend do paths over. Um, just because I don't think she's that viable of a unit. But, um, she's, she's there. You can use her if you want. If you want to go for her, go for her. I, I just don't find her useful in game. I do have her. I would probably run her on our nuker team. But the Rainbow to Intelligence hurts her a lot, and she really doesn't do that much for her team. Even on the Intelligence Extreme, the Kid Boo team, she is not really that useful. You know, the only thing that she has going for her is the Nightmare and Fierce Battle Links. Um, the, 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 the key can hurt you, and I mean, attack and defense plus 30%, I guess. But overall, that's my recommendations. It's going to be the Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, then the Android 17, then the future Gohan, uh, then the Bojack, and then the Android 18. But that future Gohan and Bojack are kind of tied for me. But let me know what you guys think down below. Hit that sub button if you're new here. Thanks for joining me here today. I know this is a long-winded video. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and hashtag winbag. <laughs> but thank you again for joining me here today, guys. I'll catch you guys down in the comments below.